a Belgian barrel-aged beer that was bottled in 2014. Seeing me walking around on the boy I bet sound that you heard of Seeing me walking the streets on the top of the world that you heard of It's beer a clocker from the Struis Brewers. We have a bottle of their Tejesus Reserva coming in at 10% ABV and this is a 2014 bottle as you can see from the cap um, try and get it up there without, uh, without the light affecting it but the light is affecting it there we go as you can see it's a 20 um, I've heard it the right way the 4th for the 6th 14 that this, this, this was actually brewed I don't know if you see that. Now it's a bit bit difficult to get it on there. There you go. The fourth of the sixth. Fourteen. So this is over six years old, this beer. Um it's been aged in um, a bourbon barrel. And as you know, um Struth Browers are very, very famous for aging their beers. So without further ado, let's crack it open and let's get it in a glass. And this is a sort of a, a sort of Christmas beer. The, the Tezizus in our reserve is a Christmas beer. As you can see, sort of like a, um, a mock-up of, of Jesus Christ on the bottle. <laughs> um, looks a bit of a cross between Jesus Christ and the, and the child catcher on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, doesn't it, you know? <laughs> Remember that, the old child catcher on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So without further ado, let's crack this open. Let's get it into a glass. And let's give it a review! <laughs> Come on, be honest, leave a comment below. Who was scared of the child catcher on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang back in the day? Who hid behind the sofa when, when it got to the bit with the child catcher? Come on, let's be honest. Let's have an honest, honest opinion. Leave a comment below. Let me know below if you was scared of the child catcher in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So, without further ado, first impressions. Well, um, <laughs> it's it looks like the SOM. <laughs> have you ever seen films about the SOM in the First World War? Well, it looks just like a, a muddy battlefield the Somme that's all I can describe this beer as it's it's, it's a muddy brown colour um, with a half a finger tight white foam head and it is white foam it's not off white or anything like that it's a real good white foam head on there let's get the aromas oh Brown sugar comes out massively in this. Dry fruit, brown sugar. There's some smokiness from obviously the tannin of the bourbon barrels. A little bit of bourbon there. Spices. As always, with a Belgian beer, there's, you know, I can, I can sort of smell a bit of coriander there. Oh. It's a bit of malt bread. Oh. It smells nice. Oh, the aromas. Struis Browers, how do you do it? Oh, I don't want to drink it, I just want to smell it. Dry fruit, malt bread, smokiness of the tannin from the bourbon barrels, a little bit of bourbon there, a little bit of spiciness with the coriander. 
brown sugar in abundance. That's, that's, all I, that's how I've got to sum it up. You know, it's my word. If this tastes as good as it smells, it's going to be awesome. So without further ado, let's dive in. And I do believe, I do believe it was my mate Joe Buys that sent me this beer. Um, so for that, I want to just raise a glass to Joe Buys. He's got his own channel now. Absolutely fantastic little beer channel. He knows a lot about beer. And um, give him a check out. So it's basically called uh, Joe Buys Beer Reviews or something like that. Um, so uh, check him out on YouTube. So without, without further ado, before we taste it, cheers to Joe. Let's dive in, give it a try. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's blown me away. This is a six year old beer. Over six year old. Over six years old this beer. And it is bloody lovely. Forget the alcohol at 10%, it feels like you're drinking a 4% beer. There's no alcohol booziness in this beer that I can find. It is so, so smooth. It is like velvet kissing your tongue. It's like probably having a, having a French kiss with a velvet, with velvet. Oh. I tell you what, a sip of this beer is probably the equivalent of what it would feel like to snog Claudia Schiffer back in the day. Or if you weren't into Claudia Schiffer, um, Farrah Fawcett, uh, come on, let's just name some beautiful women. Shields. Yeah, definitely. Susanna Hoffs from the Bangles. You know, this is probably. Oh, it is just. The mouthfeel of this is just so soft, so creamy, so delicate. It is just unbelievable. I am Joe Buys. I just can't believe, you know, you introduced me to this brewery, and whoa, man, you know, I'm I'm in love with this brewery. Um, I'm actually going to say that Struce Brewers. If anyone asks me from now on what is my favourite brewery, it is Struce Brewers. They've just, they're just perfect, perfect. I've not had a bad beer from them, and I've done a few now. I've still got a few to come, you know. I've got, well, I've got one that's brewed with tomatoes. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Have I got to add a dash of Worcester sauce and some celery salt to it when I drink it? I don't know, but I will have it on the side just in case. <laughs> These are beers from a brewery you have got to try before you die. You have seriously, seriously, seriously got to try Struce Brewers. This is a work of art. A work of art, this beer.
And for you younger viewers, drinking this beer must be like having tongues with Holly Willabooby. Is that good? It's smooth, it's creamy, it's so well balanced. It tastes like it smells. It's bready. There's brown sugar in abundance. Dried fruit, a little bit of spice there, a little bit of smokiness from the tannin of the bourbon barrels and a hint of bourbon there. Oh my word. How lucky am I? How lucky am I to have this beer in my hand? Enjoying life. This is massively a beer to try before you die. If I had to score this beer, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. It's that good. It's that good. It's six and a half years old, this beer. Six, get that, 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 that sink into you. It's six and a half years old. And it tastes awesome. It's not off, it's nothing wrong with this beer. Now, six and a half years old. And it just tastes awesome. So, look, without further ado, Grab yourself a bottle of this. Jump through hoops to see if you can get hold of a bottle of this. Seriously, right? <laughs> Jump through flaming hoops to get hold of a, a bottle of this. Leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this beer, all right? Um, let me think. Uh, let me know what you think about the review. <laughs> Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <coughs>